he's out, he's free. Hello everybody and welcome to another PO Box opening episode. Those of you that saw the last PO Box opening will know that we finished by opening this from Rob Whitehorn from Australia. But it was such a big bag that uh, we've got to make we're going to make this the first one of this PO box so we're going to open this and we've got a the new 2020 peter rabbit coin to show you as well we need to free that from its cardboard prison so we'll have that later on so let's see what we've got we've got a full ziplock bag got plenty of information by the looks of it loads of coins so let's read this one which looks like there's no addresses or anything on it Okay, so, hi Bungalow Lady M. Thanks again for all your efforts on the on the tubes. It's a pleasure to watch. Thanks, Rob. Sophie Whitehorn, my granddaughter, loves watching with me and occasionally stays up to watch the live streams if there's no school the next day as they're on at 10 p.m. our time. Thanks for staying up, Sophie. You appreciate that. I've included a lot of coins that don't suit my collection that have come my way from many different places and people. Please go through and see if any suits yours. If not, offer them as trades to assist others. Some are still in use, I believe, and could be used for postage. Interesting. A couple of surprises. All coins are as I got them. As I, all coins are as I got them, and I don't clean coins. I have also included the remaining five 2019 released one pound coins. You have the 26 alphabets. Fantastic. So one dollar coin. Sorry. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. The AU and S coins have the 35 year preview marks as our 35th anniversary of the $1 coin. So the AU and S coins have the 35 year preview mark as our 35th anniversary of the $1 coin. Fantastic. The 2019 IRB is the last IRB $1 coin, but looks like a high mint, but unknown at this stage. The 2019 JC is the sleeper that is possible that possible possible could be a very low mint but i'll need to wait and see it as they came out late in the year and there are so many others we have only found three or four in the wild jc's we love the 2017 potters if you have any spare to send my way thanks again for the giveaway too rob and sophie whitehorn from brisbane australia brisbane australia absolutely fantastic rob and sophie so yeah great great letter and i know the uh, yeah we sent we sent Rob some coins because he won one of our have a look. He won one of our uh, live streams on a Sunday. Was it? He got the Isaac Newton, didn't he? With a it was a double die error. No, a strike through error. That's right. Yeah. Uh, was it Paddington as well? Yes. So, great. Right, the all. So this has got some information about the coins miniatures by the looks of it. So it's got some kangaroos. On here, I think they're the, are they the one dollar coins. I think yeah. going to the kangaroos on. I think Australia's dollar discovery. So that's the A, the A with the S. Oh, these are the preview marks. Yeah, great. So this must be the. So this will be. Well, we'll come back to this, I guess. But so so 2019 was the year it came out. One five one three is that the is that one point five one three million probably I would imagine. Yeah. And Royal Australian Mint, they're the people that did it. So the interim figure for the five kangaroos sculptured by Stuart Devlin. Is that 21? Is that a million? 2.1? Maybe so that might be 2.1 million. That's the interim figure. Right. Okay, let's uh, let's crack on then. So let's start. We'll start with this one, Lady M. We might, uh, Craft Nice might be called into action if I can't do it with this, the letter opener. But let's see. Oh, no, that seems to be okay. I think we'll get that. We'll get around that, I think. They've come an awful long way, so they're certainly well, oh. well packaged. Oh, must have slipped the bag. Right, let's see what we've got here then. So I recognise some of these. So there's a 2P, so 1976. So did Australia use the same? No, they won't have, no. They won't have, had, the two, they won't have had the two pence. So these must be some of the, the coins that Rob's talked about that he doesn't have any use for them in his collection. So 1977, that one. Got a nice half penny from 
1944 with a lovely, lovely ship on. Nice. Look at that half penny, 1900 half penny, lady. Oh. Imagine the. Uh, Victoria. Yeah, imagine the, the, the sights. Stories. Yeah, that, that that coin must have seen. There's a half p. 1971. So that came out with circulation. It's 84, I think. Was it was it? I remember using them. Oh, was, was it 80? The last circulating coin might have been 83, and then I think it came out of circulation. I was only in the commemorative packs in 84, I think. Right. Then one's a half piece. And they, they, they took them out of circulation because they were they just they just weren't worth the coins that were printed on, mm -hmm. the value of it. Oh, there's a half penny look. It's 1942. So I'll compare similar kind of years look. Mm -hmm. 42 and 44. I don't know me, me kings and queens. Is it George? It's George the, the fourth. And uh, Roman numerals, so it's oh, the sixth. No, it's That'll be a, a V and an I. So it'll be the sixth right. George the sixth. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just looking further round at the different letters. So I'm not uh, not very good at reading Latin. I don't know me kings and queens, but I know a little bit about Roman numerals, and that's about only only thanks to the Rocky films. <laughs> that Rocky, I wouldn't have had a clue. So there is Elizabeth Regina. 1961, half penny. Another kangaroo on there. Is it a kangaroo or a wallaby? I think it's a kangaroo. Wallabies are a bit smaller, aren't they? I have no idea. Yeah. 1953. Another two pence. Another 1971. There's another George the Sixth. There's the thing, people. I'm sure people do know this, but the the portraits of a certain way around. So the, as the portraits go on, they're facing a different way. So George is facing that way, and Elizabeth is facing is facing this way. And there's loads. I was watching Christopher's live stream a couple of weeks ago, and he said how many monarchs have been on the on on British coins, and I don't know how many it is, but it's quite a lot. Was it five? There's more. Was it more? No, it was more than five. But uh, yeah, each time the monarch changes the face, the face a different way. So a little bit of trivia there in case anybody didn't know anybody didn't know that. I'm sure where most people did. I only learned thanks to Christopher. 1942, another ship. Looks like the Blue Peter ship, that. <laughs> I was wanting a Blue Peter badge when I was younger, did you, lady? Uh, yeah. Wasn't prepared to wear for it though, that was my problem. <laughs> uh, nothing to give. Half Australian half penny. There's another one. 1951. So there's plenty here, isn't there? Yeah. 41, 42, 43. Is that like a date wrong? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a big boy. There's a big one penny, 1929. Wow. Yeah, it was a, so that must be George V, is it? Yes. George V. Why isn't he facing a different, yes. a different oh. way? Oh. They, I'm, I'm sure I read somewhere that was one. Somebody in between them then. No, I don't know. There's, there's either somebody in between. Them. I read somewhere that one of them wanted it wanted to be the other way, because it was the it was the best his best side. <laughs> so he broke the he broke the tradition. Don't know which one it was though. Right. Anyway, I'm not an expert on all coins. So fabulous. Nineteen thirty nine. Wow. Fabulous. So oh, some man. lovely uh, copper coins. Another copper. Bronze, copper. Don't know what they're made of, but yeah, some lovely, lovely copper. coins there, Rob. Right, let's get on to the uh, next one. Should we move the should we move these up a little yeah. bit? Right. This is to complete your set of 2019 $1 coins. 31 released. The JC is the sleeper that may be low mintage. Interesting. Oh. So we're getting the... Oh, I'm at, was, I, was I zoomed in there? Was that, well, I think I was. It's so uh, bright in the Bungle Collect Magic Studio. I can't see through the... Oh, am I cutting the thingy there? Might be, you know. Be careful. I can't see through the camera lens, so sorry if, uh, if 
them if it's not bang on. Oh, look at them. Wow. They are stunning them. So awesome. Rob mentioned the preview mark, didn't he? Yeah. All ah, right, so there's the right above it. So there's the A. On there, let's have a little zoom in. So there's the A on that one. Oh, on the other, I'm on the wrong coin. There's the U on there. That one's got the S. And what was it? What did the other one say, Lady M? Mm. The other was one, the JC, and yeah. the other, right. So there's the IRB portrait there from 2019. And then it must have switched to that one. So was, it, was that JC, did, uh, did Rob say? So there's five coins there yeah. so one's an a one's a u one's an s then yeah jc one's says an uh doesn't doesn't say what that one is and then Which there's one? a jc yeah well that's it well that's an irb one was it, was, it, was it written somewhere? Where, where, where was it written on the letter? Where's the letter gone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've also included the remaining yeah, five it. 2019 released $1 coins. You have the 26 alphabets. The A, the U and the S have the 35 year preview mark as, a, as it's our 35 year anniversary of the $1 coin. The 2019 is the last IRB $1 coin, but looks like a high mintage, but not known at this stage. So that's that one okay with the irb on yeah you can see the jc down there yeah the, the little jc collar. yeah the jc is the sleeper that possibly could be very low mint but we'll need to wait to see as it came out late in the year and and there are so many others so i wonder what the a the u and the s stand for as a different areas that they were minted i'm not sure so i could maybe adelaide sydney but i don't know what the u is for i'm got a clue don't know do tell us anybody if if you if you I'm sure you'll be watching this Rob if you don't know if uh, if anybody else knows put in the in the comments what uh, why are the privy marks A U and S please do let us know so yeah lovely lovely set there of the the one dollar coin so that completes our one dollar uh, set right let's see what this is Look at that. Oh, nice. Big old 50 pence there. 1980. Big so the big, up. large 50p. One of them flippy over cases. It's like that one. I think, I think I've got, I've got 1980. I think, uh, I think I have. Let's have a look. Just check. Yeah, 1980 there. Yeah. Circulated condition, mind. So yeah, still need all the NIFCs for the big 50Ps and the little 50Ps for that matter. So thanks very much, Rob. It's great. It looks in really nice condition, that. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. And this last big boy. Wow, there's some coins in here. Wow, eh? A whole range of stuff in here. Got there, we're there. <laughs> Oops. So a big, massive selection of coins again. So this must be all the silver, the silver collection. God. The size of them, you forget how big they were. I know. Massive. 1975, big 10p. Is that a five pence? Oh, yeah, that's a five pence. There's more that size now, aren't they? 
Yeah. There's another one, 1968. Wow. So the 10 pence came out before decimalization in the UK to get people ready for it. Like I said in the previous episode, the PO Box episode, it's two uh, shillings. It was shillings, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2050p. So again, that came out in 1969, so it was before de decimalization to get people ready for the switch over. Five pence, 1969. Or another 1976, 10p. Yeah, class them, aren't they so yeah, chunky? you soon forget. So 1975 as well. You can imagine carrying that lot around in your pocket now. <laughs> pants would fall down. 1982, 20 pence, that's when they... 20 pence came out, 1982. Another 1969, 10p. Yeah, there's a 10 pence. 1997.50p. Mm. If you compare it to the others. 93, 20p. Yeah. So it doesn't look that much smaller, does it, when you do it like that? Yeah. But it's certainly it's thinner. So, absolutely. But it doesn't have to make it if it feels as though it's twice the size. Yeah, it does. Even though it clearly it clearly isn't. So the 1983 20 pence. And here we go. There's the one shilling. So that'll feel fine. That's the same size as the 5p. But they were together after decimalization happened. They were both both used concurrently. And like I said in the previous video, it's because the the value was the same. So in an old pound, there was 240 old pence to the pound and one shilling was 12 pennies, which is a fifth as is the five pence. So the, so the value was the same. So they ran, they ran the two concurrently. Mm -hmm. There's another one, 1963. That one being in the bottom of a pond, Lady M, the bottom of a it fountain. Like it, doesn't it? Some more big chunky five P's, 1970, 1975. Compared, Compared to that, that to now, that one. Yeah, it's, it's a massive difference, that one. Compared to that 1991 one. So it was 1990 when they went from there. Now that is considerably smaller, it isn't is, it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, they took quite a bit of getting used to when they first came out, the tiny five oh, pences. Because you used to get they? caught in the corner of your purse and all sorts. You used to collect them for everyone I knew at the time, collected them. Little, little five P's. 1968, big 10p. Come to the pounds last. 1963. That's another shilling. Another 5p from 1975. Another 1991 5 pence. Is that the 1991 yet? I think we've seen that one. And then the round pounds. So is it 80? What year did these come out? 83, I think. The round pounds came out. There's 1983. 1983. Did the pound notes run at the same time or did the pound notes go out of circulation? Uh, so the pound notes ran until, oh, you're testing me now, <laughs> uh, 80 something, 88 or 89. Oh, right, okay. Oh, that's, that's when they, yeah. that's when so they stopped making them. They, they, I th someone will correct me in the comments if I'm, uh, if, I, if I'm wrong. But yeah, the, the, the coin came out and the note ran concurrently and then yeah. it was in the late eighties it came out of uh, it came out. They stopped, mm -hmm. stopped making them. Not in Scotland of course, there's still one I'm sure there's only one left, one bank in Scotland that still produces the, the one pound note. Right. So yeah, fabulous. What a what a great what a great collection of a, a range oh, of different uh, diff, different coins, Lady M. I think uh, the plum find has got to be these. Oh yeah. I uh, absolutely love these. So I didn't realise that it was this would complete my 2019 set because I've got the A to Z okay. alphabet. The A to Z coins, the great Aussie yeah. coin hunt with the $1 coins. So I wasn't sure. I didn't know that there was these coins still existed. Oh, but these coins were existed, sorry. So it's nice to complete the set. So thanks for that, uh, Rob. Definite uh, plum, plum finds there. So fabulous. Love them. Right, so we have got, I did promise you, the Peter Rabbit 2020 coin. So I can show you that one. So we only got this delivered yesterday. From the time of filming, it was only yesterday. We got another trading card, which is great. And 
here is the you said mentioned Peter Rabbit. So certainly not my favourite design. No. I don't like the 2019 either really, to be honest with you. The 2018 is absolutely amazing, but I think they were stretching it a bit in 2019 and 2020. That looks like he's just caught under a gate to me. It looks as though he's impaled on it. <laughs> so there we go. So let's do the biz lady M and let's get this freed from the cardboard prison. He's out, he's free. There he is. I bet it looks better in silver proof. The colours mm, on it. Maybe. It's, it, yeah, it's really poor. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. But it will be useful because we're going to get to scratch the <laughs> change checker card off. So we'll do the same as we did in the last PO Box episode. We'll just do a little bit at the top. Let's see whether this coin's as good as the Iguanodon for scratching off. I confirm it is. Right, so what coin do we think that is, Lady M? I, I think I know. Mm. Ooh, or do I? Ooh. Yeah, I think I know. All right, I've got, I'm gonna have a guess anyway. Any idea what that is? Before we scratch a bit more off. No. Uh, is it Paddington at the station? Not is it sure the top where? part of the station? Don't know. Let's have a little look and scratch a little bit more. Mm, probably. Yeah. I think that's Paddington's hat there, isn't it? I think so. Just poking his way through. Let's have a look. It is indeed. Oh my gosh, hold on. Paddington at the train station. It's now my favourite to Paddington Bear. Don't find that many, do we, really? I'm going to use the, the flat edgy lady. I'm going to do it in bigger. Oh, okay. look at that. Oof. Oh, yes. So it's Paddington at the station, year of issue 2018, United Kingdom, Jodie Clark is the obverse designer, David Napton did the, the front, there was 5 million and 1,000 put into circulation, and key fact, the coin design is based on the modern adaptation from the CGI live action movie, and features Paddington's famous tag, which reads, please look after this bear, thank you. So there we go, big thank you to Peter Rabbit as well for helping me scratch that uh, that card off and we can put him into my album where uh, is it that black one lady i think it is so this is where i keep my non-circulated coins in there started in 2018 with the snowman and we're going all the way through there's the iguanodon i didn't show that one uh, in the last episode i forgot to put it in my album but it's in there now so peter rabbit 2020 is going in there there he goes. And the next one I would expect to be the the last dinosaur when that comes out in a few weeks' time. Oh, well, depending when this video is uploaded, of course. Mm -hmm. I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to pretend. It begins with a H, I think. But that's the one I'm going there. So oh, there we go. The Hylosaurus. Hylosaurus. Is that how you pronounce it? As easy as that? I don't know. I think so. I'm not oh, very good. I might be wrong. Fair Right, we are all done, Lady M. So hope you enjoyed that P.O. Box episode. Say it's exclusively to... To Rob and Sophie, so massive thank you for sending all, send us all, send us all these in, and thank you very much for watching uh, from both of you. So there we go. Right, we're all done and dusted. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.